protects you and, you know, give you goals to reach. Early. Up top this time. have fired Coach Scott Linehan. The Rams have fired their head coach, Steve Spagnuolo. Devastating. I mean, where do you go from here now? I'd like to introduce the new head coach, St. Louis Rams, Jeff Fisher. I mean, the philosophy is pretty simple. We want to do whatever it takes to win football games. We want to have a disciplined, tough, physical football team. Rams of the city go to arbitration Monday on proposed taxpayer-funded upgrades to the Edward Jones Dome. And there would have been no Rams here in St. Louis had that business deal not trumped whatever the scene was in Los Angeles or in Anaheim. And the reason why it might leave St. Louis is the same same business. Reason. A piece of Inglewood history has been reduced to rubble. Take a look. This morning, explosions brought down the Hollywood Park grandstand for an NFL stadium with the hope that the Rams will move back to Southern California. Bring them all, baby! Bring them all, Scott! Gurley up the middle. He's in. Touchdown! what is going to happen with the owners vote in January because it is a complete mystery to everybody involved also. The third time tonight, the chant keep the Rams is broken out here at the Edward Jones Dome. In two weeks, the Rams will enter into a very interesting offseason. And today, the story is in Houston. That's where NFL owners are meeting, all 32 of them, to try to come to some kind of solution for Los Angeles. Let's go live to Houston now, where two days of meetings are scheduled. But Ian Rappaport and Judy Batista, there is a chance this gets wrapped up today. They have been in the room now with nobody else, owners only, sort of the final thoughts from the Carson Project and from the Rams proposal mm. in Englewood. Even though the relocation committee recommended the Carson Project, the Englewood Project has the wow factor. So I want to see them go ahead and just pass it on through because there's no no reason not to. If we get the Rams back here, you'll see an explosion here in California, I promise you that. Uh, two drove three hours to get here tonight, and it was worth it because I love the St. Louis Rams. I can't believe you feel this team would be better out there than here. Just sign the lease. Very mm. close to just securing enough votes for the Rams proposal in Inglewood. It's been a long process, a long day, so I apologize. Uh, the NFL owners tonight approved the return of the Los Angeles Rams to the market, uh, starting with the 2016 season. It is home sweet home for the Rams. How long has it been since they played in the greater Los Angeles area? We're talking some 21 years ago. It's been a historic day that changed the landscape of sports in Los Angeles. I was there the day that the trucks were pulling out of Rams Park in Anaheim when they left. For this day to happen, I mean, I mean, we're here in history. I mean, they're back. They're back home where they belong. 
you go they're they're excited so it's been uh, it's been a fun experience we've got to thank the mayor here and, and of course his relationship with mr crock it, it would, without that it never would have happened and i want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine for the last two and a half years stan crocky earlier you got to know you had a foundation like jim gave us to have the confidence to go do the other things we did. And so. There's a lot of avenues, whether it's free agency, whether it's the trade market, whether it's the draft. Keep developing who we have, the, the Aaron Donalds and, and the Todd Gurley's can draft young players, and I think we have a chance. Or hit the ground running. Yeah. We have an off-season program that starts April. So how do we get to that point by the 18th of April? And then in addition to that, start drafting in L.A. So we've got some work to do. We put things on hold here for the combine because this is, this is you know, our future. Head coach of the Los Angeles Rams, and really returning home. But you have a unique experience. You've done this before, yes. moving from Houston yeah. to Tennessee. You're the only coach in the world that has that. I mean, it was the last time somebody moved. Yeah, I know. Wow. They told me today that I was the last coach to relocate a franchise, so, and the only one to do it twice. I'm excited about the challenges. Uh, don't sweat the little things. Look at the big picture, because things are going to work out. Well, good luck to you. Great to see you guys. Good luck. Thanks. Welcome back to LA. Los Angeles Rams head coach Jeff Fisher, Cody May. Good afternoon. How's everybody? Did you need a couple minutes checking phones before you start asking some questions? Or what? <laughs> You know, I just want to take this opportunity to thank the, uh, the loyal uh, St. Louis fans. I'm going to miss them. The organization is going to miss them, but we're obviously moving on. This is the only place to meet left in the building. Isn't it? I'm not going to talk about the move. We need to talk about the building because the mod space is up against some some time constraints of getting everything flushed out. So we need to start locking things down, and we're up against an unrealistic timeline. Hi, I'm Bruce Warwick. I'm the director of operations for the Los Angeles Rams. Basically, the oversight of the the whole thing, transitioning out of Rams Park, the Edward Jones Dome, the securing of facilities for the business side and the football operations side as we move around Los Angeles until we can get into a permanent facility. When the subject of the Rams came up, it was not a concern from the neighbors, so this thing is well on its way. We can actually start grading for the fields and for the foundation of the buildings immediately if we really want to. We're not doing this alone. We're in the process now of working with our relocation company. It takes it takes a lot of people to make this process work. Looks all right. Oh, yeah. My name is John Bernier, and I work for Grable Van Lines. It's a wholly owned woman enterprise that specializes in the relocation and moving of corporate America. We will package and load 
transport vis-a-vis our van lines. Generally speaking, it's about a week to turn a, a truck from St. Louis to California. Quantification of this cargo, we're going to be moving well over 100 tractor and trailer loads. We're going to stage this in two different moves. Uh, March 18th will be kind of the end of the business operation. March 24th will be when we pull up the uh, football operation side. We hope to have the scouting meetings up and running by April 4th and the business side um, pretty close thereafter. Good afternoon. It's been a while since we had a chance to, to gather, so what I realize is we haven't been together since before the vote. Most of you have not seen the project or what the opportunity is in Los Angeles. The thing that's made the easiest is um, from the top, and we're following Kevin Demoff's uh, vision, which is uh, well thought out. This is the way it lays out, and this is what we always view as kind of, if you take a look at the campus, this is our version. If you walked into a theme park, the map that you get and how it looks. We have the stadium here. We're currently in discussion with some office space that would house our, one of our traditional business blocks. And then the football, side is actually going to go through a couple transitions through our off-season program. We'll be in Oxnard, California. The training camp will most likely be in Orange County. And then we're in the talks right now. We're securing a temporary location for our football side for the next three years. By allocating the resources that we need, it's solved a lot of problems very quickly. If you had the opportunity for blank slate, the second largest city in the U.S., and one of the ten most important cities in the world, that is desperate to have the Rams back. How do we meet that challenge? That's what should keep you up at night. Got your clothes in there? No. Why? Are y'all gonna do y'all gonna do rooms upstairs today? Yeah, you know, packing up the house, man. Trying to get ready to move to LA. Sad to leave, but you know it is an exciting time too. Man. Yeah, we made, we made a lot of memories in this place, but it's only been two years. Um, and once again, you know, it's, it shows how fast you move. I've probably, this is probably the fourth time I've moved. Because ain't no reason for me to go through right now, so when you come, I'm going to just tell them I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm down. Right, but if you get a box, you can help while they move it. You can just well, stop up. Keep it helping them. Keep it helping them. You ain't doing nothing. You know, I've been here since I got drafted. You know, the first time I've ever really walked in the house and over, you know, bought it for myself or whatever, but I remember coming in here and now I'm looking at it going. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm thankful though. What are these two big bags that I have? Yeah, I know. Do you think she need all this stuff though? My wife is, is just as stressed out about it as I am. But now looking at all the boxes, you know, it's, it's, it shows now that I think that we're that we're ready for this. I think she's gonna be very excited to unpack and you, you must have packed for like you and your friends. Well, I just like, for me, but for two weeks. Because they said the trip. Probably not gonna be there for a week. Now that everything is in boxes, you know, the only thing that we got is a bed and I think we got some tortilla chips and uh in the pantry. That's literally all we have. So, I mean, it's, it's a crazy process, but all in all, we're on our way to LA. These are both 44 by 44. Okay. Um, the 42 by 42 is just around the stop here. And then the base that's under it is 29 by 22 by 22. Okay. What we're going to miss about this house was me and my wife you know, on our hoverboards and <laughs> and we uh, call ourselves racing in the house on the thing. I fell on that side of the house and she was gonna, she screamed my name and then she went flying and falling. A lot of great memories in this house. Our first Christmas together, first got married in this house, and then our first baby here in this house. Uh, <laughs> The child has its days. He has his moments when I like don't feel good, but I'm gonna be doing during training camp, so we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> I'm willing to take on that challenge because I know like this is a big year for Alex, so whatever I can do to help him, 
You can get the boxes and you can start putting your shoes in boxes now. You can do your part. This is your room. Your part. Yes, this is your personal part. You can pull your tissue. Man, you told me already. You told me what your part is, man. What's his part? What's his part? <laughs> no. As far as Cali and my family, that's, that's the main thing I really worry about. You know, a lot of my family probably won't ever see me play like that. You know, just because they can't take all the too many days of work. But that was my biggest, man. Just my family and you know, family and friends coming to see me now, so. He'll be far away. I mean, but we'll, he'll, I'll always be with him. He'll always be with me, and it's nothing but showed up a six-hour flight from here to L.A. I mean, he's my son. I'll always be there for him, regardless as to the price of the flight or the distance. So it's just whatever he needs. I'm here for him. Football first. That's how my mindset is. And I don't really get care about what, what, what city he was in. We could stay here, but you know, unfortunately, that's not on my hands. So I just gotta go with the punches. You know, since we out Cali now, we out Cali. You know, I'm definitely not gonna complain about it. You know, I'm just trying to go in and get it done on the field first. And, and everything else to take care of. So. It still hasn't hit me yet, just because, you know, I've been to L.A. a few times, but mostly just to visit. You know, I've never looked at it as, uh, as home, but hopefully, you know, the distractions with all the changing and moving parts uh, uh, will be put to the side so that we can take care of what we need to take care of. Yeah, you know, we definitely going to miss the St. Louis area. Uh, you know, they've been nothing but good to me. Uh, to both of us since we've been here. And, uh, it's gonna be a bittersweet moment once we officially leave out of here. Um, but you know, it's, it's also an exciting moment too. So. I just want to thank y'all, you know, for giving my first opportunity for welcoming me in the St. Louis. You know, everybody here, at least I'm still around right now. You know, just out of St. Louis. You know, I'm still around at heart. You know, I just want to say thank y'all again. <laughs> Yeah. 